Hey guys, hope you are well. So this lesson is all going to be about this formula over here. Okay, so we know by now that N stands for the number of moles. Uh, v is going to now be volume, okay, volume of gas, and that is measured in decimeters, decimeters. And then Vm is called molar volume. Okay, it's also measured, measured in decimeters. Some textbooks say that it's measured in uh, decimeters per mole. Uh, but just check what your teacher says, if they want you to use that as the unit or that. That part's not too important, okay? Now, what's important is that this formula is a formula that we use when we are only dealing with gas. Only gas. You know you get solid liquid gas. We only use this formula with gas. Okay, now I forgot to mention this value over here, it's a constant value, which is going to be 22,4. Now your teacher is going to tell you that you can only use 22,4 when you are at something called STP. Now STP just stands for standard temperature and pressure, okay? You don't really have to worry too much about that now in grade 10, but just know that the temperature is zero degrees Celsius and the pressure is, you could either say one atmosphere, you could either say 101,3 kilopascals, or you could say 101,300 pascals, whatever one your teacher is using. These are all the same thing actually, but they're just different ways of writing it using different units, okay? So what this VM actually means, it means the following. It means that at STP, so that's when you're at zero degrees Celsius and um, I'm just gonna use one atmosphere of pressure. Then what they have discovered, what scientists have discovered is that all, or let's just say one mole of any gas will have a volume of 22,4 decimeters. It doesn't matter what the gas is, it's any gas, okay? So they told, they, 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 what they discovered was that if you have 22, or if you have one mole of any gas, then the volume will be 22,4, okay? Now let's go actually use this formula and you'll see that it's pretty easy. This question says that we are given 44.8 decimeters. Now decimeter cube, that's a symbol for volume, so that's this one over here. So let's just mark off that we've got that. Of hydrogen gas at STP, remember that stands for standard temperature and pressure, determine the number of moles. So we've got volume, so we're definitely gonna use this formula over here. Now remember that N stands for moles, V stands for volume, measured in decimeters, and then VM stands for molar volume, and that's always equal to 22,4 decimeters, okay? It's like a magic number that you will be given in your test, but you'll get used to it. You'll, you'll, like, you'll memorize it anyways. So that's, that VM is this number over here. So we can just go say that N is equal to 44.8, 44.8 divided by 22,4. And if you had to go work this out, you end up with two mole. How easy is that? Now we're gonna start for the next examples, we're gonna start adding in a few of the formulas that we've used in previous lessons, such as this one, and maybe even using something like that. So we're gonna learn to use all of them. This question says, determine the volume of 88 grams of CO2. Okay, so now they've given us grams, so you can't use this formula immediately, but we can use the other formula that we've learned, which is this one over here, where M is the mass, in grams, and then M is the mass on the periodic table. It's called molar mass, molar mass. Also measured in, well this one's actually measured in grams per mole, and it is from the periodic table. So what we could do guys, is we could go use this formula to calculate the number of moles, and then we could use this formula to calculate whatever they need, okay? So we're gonna start with this formula. So we could say N is equal to M over capital M, and so that'll be equal to 88 over. Now to work out the mass of CO2 on the periodic table, well, there's one carbon, so that is 12, and then there's two oxygens, two oxygens. So we'll say two multiplied by 16. 
And so if you had to go work that out, you end up with 88 over 44, which is equal to two moles. So we have two mole of CO2. Now we're gonna come back to this formula up here. And we know the moles now, and we also know Vm. Remember, Vm is a constant of 22.4. So you've got to try to think about how to get this by itself. So you could make a triangle if you want, like we've done in previous lessons. The V is at the top. The V is at the top. And then you can just put the other two like that. So if you want to get V by itself, then you would say these two are next to each other, so that you would multiply them like that, and so you'd end up with two moles multiplied by Vm, which is 22.4, which is molar volume at STP, and that would give you a value of 44,8. Now the unit for volume is decimeters cubed. This one says determine the volume when you've got this many, now this is not moles, this is the number of particles. So here you would actually use this formula that we've learned about in previous lessons, where n is the, let's write it over here, n is the number of particles, and then Avogadro's is a number that we've learned about, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So what we could do is we could work out the number of moles by saying n is the number of particles that they gave us, which is this one over here, okay, divided by Avogadro's number, and that'll give us 20. So we have 20 mole. Now we have the number of moles, so we could come and use this formula. So we could say n is equal to V over Vm. Now we know the number of moles and we know this value, but we have to try calculate this one. So once again, you could make a triangle, which looks like this, and then you could just get this by itself by saying V is equal to N multiplied by Vm, and so V is gonna be equal to um, 20 moles multiplied by molar volume, which is 22.4, and if you have to calculate this, you end up with 448 decimeters cubed.